Once you manage to get over the Fred Flintstone thing of not wanting to leave the house, winter can actually be an amazing time to ride your bike. Because you're riding just that bit slower, it's a great time to be social with your cycling chums and just enjoy being out in the fresh air while getting some good exercise. This is especially important if you've spent the spring and summer working hard to become a trained athlete, but don't want to turn into a complete sack of custard the moment the leaves start to change colour. So okay, you will need to wrap up a bit more and there will also be times when inclement weather truly will prevent you from getting on the bike. But in general, it can be every bit as much fun as riding in the warmer months. All it needs is just a bit of extra preparation. Now obviously key to winter riding is wearing appropriate clothing and I will be covering this in more detail in another film. But for the meantime, let's just say that layers is the way to go, both on your top half and your bottom half. That way, as the temperature rises or falls, you can remove or cover up to suit. Nowadays, getting an accurate weather forecast is incredibly easy. We have it on TV, on our smartphones, and even our cycling computers, so there really is no excuse for getting caught out by a sudden snowstorm, even mid-ride. Next, your choice of route is pretty important. Now, unless you're superhuman, you probably won't be able to ride quite as far or as fast or even up the same climbs that you could in the summer. So try to plan a route that's a little easier than the ones you were doing early in the year. Obviously, this will depend very much on your current level of fitness, but as a general rule of thumb, I would suggest shorter distances and fewer climbs. If you do stick to the same route, allow yourself about 30% more time to complete it. Finding them is especially easy with things like Garmin Connect. The desktop app will not only allow you to create and send routes to your cycling computer or smartphone, the mobile app will also allow you to discover and transfer routes created by other people. If you've ever found yourself wondering where a particular road leads, now's the time to find out, making sure of course it doesn't lead to a house made of gingerbread. Just in case it does happen, and you'll be surprised how often it does, always let someone know where you're going and when you expect to be back. Or better still, enable the live track feature on your Garmin. This way, when you wake up to discover that you've been stuffed into an oven by a cackling old lady, someone might just come to rescue you. If you feel that your fitness has taken a bit of a knock, one solution is to ride a series of shorter loops in your local area. That way, if you start to get tired, you won't have too far to ride home. This also has the advantage of being easily extendable as you get a bit fitter. Riding solo in the winter can be pretty tough. Trying to motivate yourself to get out on the bike when it's cold and dark is quite a challenge in itself, so consider riding with others. Not only will it make the ride more sociable, but having a rider in front of you to shield you from the wind or even just someone to chat with will make it feel so much easier. Finally, a few bits and bobulums of general common sense. Even though it's winter, you will still need to eat and drink on the bike. And because you're much more likely to puncture or have a minor mechanical, it's especially important to make sure you carry everything you need to get yourself back on the road. So plenty of spare tubes, tyre levers, pump, multi-tool and even a repair kit. You should also carry your mobile phone, cash card, actual cash and photo ID. Lights are also a good idea as you never know when you might need them. Even if you set off in bright daylight, it can quickly get dark, especially if you've been delayed because you've had to fix that puncture. 
And don't forget that you will also need to give your bike a little extra TLC when you get home. Water, road grime and salt can all corrode the metal parts of your bike if left for too long. So give it a quick clean and lube after each ride, paying particular attention to the chain. So that's just a few tips on making winter riding as easy as possible. I hope you found them useful. If you did, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.